In this video, I'll describe how to calculate BMP, the biochemical methane potential, using OBA, the online biogas app. And I'm going to pick up where we left off in the last video. We had just calculated cumulative methane and biogas production as well as rates, and we're going to use those cumulative data to calculate BMP. We need one additional file. So earlier we had used a BMP vol csv file and this data file has biogas volumes in it and a bmp comp file with biogas composition we're going to need one more file bmp setup Let's take a look at it of course and these files could have any name so we have a bottle column just like the volume and composition files with one value for each unique bottle in this experiment and a description, which in this case describes the substrate that was used. So we can see that there were three bottles that had slaughterhouse waste as the substrate. And then we have two more columns, the mass of inoculum that was added. And in this case, it's clear that it was these units are in grams. So 20 grams of inoculum added to this bottle and 7.3 grams of substrate on a VS basis. We're going to use the inoculum mass to calculate the contribution of inoculum to the measured methane production in these cases and and for that we need some inoculum only bottles and here are our inoculum only bottles and then we're going to use the substrate mass to normalize our result so we can express it in milliliters of methane per gram of substrate VS so let's go back to the app so we've worked through block one and block two and we got our, our cumulative production from, from those blocks. Now we're going to summarize biogas production. To calculate BMP, we need to do two things. We need to normalize by substrate mass, and we also need to subtract production from the inoculum. What time do we want to use? Well, let's use a default of 60. And in this case, our units are days, so this is 60 days. We have to upload a setup file, BMP setup. That was the file we just looked at. Let's take a look and make sure it was read in correctly. And it looks like it was. And now we have to identify columns. So the description column is called description. Substrate mass column is sub VS mass. Inoculum mass column is inoc mass. And then we have to identify the values of description that are used for the inoculum only, of, only bottles. And that's inoculum. And we're done. Let's take a look at the results. This plot shows our methane yield. In this case, we subtracted an inoculum contribution and it was and normalized the results to one unit of substrate mass. Substrate mass was grams of VS. So these results are milliliters of methane per gram VS. We can see cellulose somewhere around 400, which is where we would expect it to be. And the highest values are for slaughterhouse waste. Let's take a look at the table. So here we can see the actual values. These are interpolated to 60 days. Cellulose has a mean of 440. It's actually a bit higher than we would expect. And we see our highest value for slaughterhouse waste. These data can be downloaded if you click the download link. And these will be downloaded as a CSV file, which I've just opened in a spreadsheet program. And these data can then be used for producing other tables or plotting or further data processing. The standard deviation column includes error propagation from the variability in the production from inoculum only bottles and of course the variability in production from the three substrate bottles, so the three cellulose bottles and three hand bottles. So that's how you calculate BMP using OBA, the online biogas app. As you may have guessed, there's a lot of flexibility in the type of summary you can carry out using OBA, but this is probably the most, the most common use.